we've already understood that varicocele in the higher grades when it is grade 3 or more requires some sort of a surgical treatment and usually the preferred surgical treatment across the globe is something that we call as microscopic subinguinal varicocelectomy or varicocele repair. So before we go for such a procedure there are a few things that we need to understand so that we can choose the right doctor for the surgery and the right center for the surgery. So as we know in varicocele the problem is with the veins of the testis which carry the blood back from the testis to the heart. So the walls of these veins are usually defective. So it is important that these veins are identified and then we basically ligate these veins under some sort of a magnification which is done in the microscope. We also know that apart from the veins there are few other structures which are there present along with the veins in the cord and we have to prevent damage to these structures. So these structures are the vas deferens which carries the sperm from the testis to the outside, the testicular artery which carries blood from the heart to the testis and few of the white blood vessels which we call as lymphatics. Now when we are not able to correctly identify these structures and we indirectly or inadvertently injure them then it leads to the complications of the procedure. So the first and foremost prerequisite before we go for the right center is that the surgeon and the center they should have a microscope. So the microscope allows a magnification of about 25 times and that makes it possible for the surgeon to see whether he is ligating or he is cutting the right vein and it's not an artery and it's not a vas or a lymphatic which is the white blood vessel channel. Also at the same time it helps identify the smaller nerves so that there is no problem in the post-op period of a testicular pain. If we uh, by any chance cut the lymphatics then what happens is that the lymph starts to collect in the scrotum and we end up with the problem called hydrocele. Similarly if somebody cuts the artery then the entire testis can be destroyed and leads to a condition called testicular atrophy. Also, if we miss a few veins, considering them as lymphatics or the arteries, then the chance of recurrence of the varicocele. So, we use a special technique which we call as the microvascular Doppler. So, this is another important thing that you should look out for when you search for the center for getting your varicocele repair. It is ideal that the center should have a microvascular Doppler facility so that they can identify the testicular artery correctly and it can be preserved. The last thing that you should look for in a center that is performing your varicocele repair is that the surgeon should be experienced. He should have done a fair number of cases and he should have all these latest technological armamentarium like the microscope, the vascular Doppler and the microsurgical instruments available with him so that only the right veins are cut and the testicular artery and the lymphatics or the nerves and the main passage which carries the sperm called the vas deferens, they are prevented from any damage. If you like to know more about varicocele treatment and why microscopic surgical ligation is the gold standard for the treatment of varicocele, then you can write into us or you can visit our web pages for more information regarding the same.